It's all about humanity. I gotta figure out how to parlay this not working thing into not working ever and getting paid for it somehow. <laughs> You could work a little harder to make money on this show. That way we can just do this. Oh, is that it? Yeah. The idea is you for you not to have a second job. Like, why do you have a second job? I don't. Because uh, I got I got to have money. You have a family. Yes. It's, that's the difference is I got, I, got, I got bills. Yeah. You know, I made the decision early on that I wasn't going to have kids because I didn't want to be put in this position because this way I only have to worry about myself. You know, it's my boyfriend, not my husband. So he's his own island. He's his own character. He has his own bank account. We don't have a shared joint anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm on my own. He's on his own. And we just happen to live together, you know. But if I you're right, if I had kids, I couldn't pay my bills and take care of children on what you and I make doing this show. No, I would have to have a second job or and a third and a fourth because you live right. In New York, I New don't York know City, how right? Do it. But that's a cho- it's a choice. Like I made a choice early on not to have kids. Mm-hmm. For that reason, that's partially part of it because I know how expensive kids are, you know. And I just I don't know. I just never wanted to be a mom. Like when I was a kid, and and the other girls were play house or whatever. I was always the real estate agent. The bad thing is, is you can't have some something else in your life be number one. You have to be number one. <laughs> So if somebody said, beautiful kid, no, Mm. no, look at me, not my kid. It's hard sometimes for you to put yourself second to your dog. Right. You know, if somebody says cute dog, well, let me tell you about me. It's it's only that. It's like, so here's how far my vanity goes. Because when I think about it, when you have kids, kids really age you. Because I look at you and I'm like, to me, you still look like you're in your 30s when we first met, like mid, right. like early to mid 30s. But then when someone says, how old is your kid? And you say, just graduated high school. People go, they start doing the math. They're like, mm. well, he can't oh, be 32 oh. anymore. How is that possible? If your right. kid is 30, how can you be 30? Right. Well, your kid isn't 30, but, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. But one day your kid will be 30 and people will look at you and be like, wait, you have a 30 year old kid. Yeah, but I, mean, I adopted them when I was 10. There's no way you can be 40 now. Yeah. I mean, that's what I mean. Like, I feel like having children ages you and not just ages you because once you st- when you stand next to them, clearly one of you is younger than the I don't want the reminder all day long that there's like a younger generation right here in my house, like some child running around, you know, using using woke terminology, or not, not woke, but like, you know, using gen z terminology that i'd be like what the fuck what are you say just talk talk regular yeah, my kids don't do that um so i don't have that to worry about but you have to, there's nothing left of you once you leave once you die that's it there's Good. nothing here of you awesome I'm, you know what that's more narcissistic you make fun of me for being a narcissist mm-hmm. when i die that's it it's done it's over your you had to leave a piece of you you're so special you're so special you had to leave something I know, behind but by the second generation of people they're not going to remember cooper lawrence that's fine with me who the you're, hell wants to you're why fine should anybody that. remember you what's so special well, about that's you the only thing that keeping you alive is is them remembering you well, I'm trying to make a name for myself doing other things other than just being a mom. You see, you know, I got the books. I've been on television. Right. I'm doing radio. Like I tr- I'm trying to do other things to make a name for myself rather than just being, you know, Jordan's mom. OK, but if I died tomorrow, all of your radio stuff dies with me. That is a problem. <laughs> you don't know where you don't know where 14 years of your voice went. Right. And that's why you did a terrible job as a parent, because where is the next generation of your kid who's going to come in and take over? If you die tomorrow, I- I'm OK with it being the Christopher and Cooper show. But, but he doesn't know what to do. You've taught him nothing. I've taught him nothing. Uh, it's kind of like Wolfgang Van Halen. Now uh-huh. that that Eddie is dead, he's got all these tapes and a whole room full of tapes. He's got to go through every single tape and put together something 
It's, right. it's like if you go into our archives, there's mm-hmm. rooms full of tape. You don't know where to, be. I don't know where to begin. Right. It's, it's, it's way overwhelming. Right. So it's your job to teach the next generation. Cause if you think about, about it like this, it's not just your DNA you're leaving behind. Cause who the hell cares about your DNA? What's so special about you? It's more what you've created. You and I have been doing this show together. You know, you've been a program director. We have a lot of awards. Like you've made something of yourself. You want to leave that behind, but you want to also have a legacy of your kid who's going to take up the mantle. Otherwise, that dies with you. Mm -hmm. That's more important. Something that you really created. Your third kid is really your radio. You know what I'm saying? So, but it, but if I die, it dies with me because nobody That's my kn- point. nobody knows where to get it. They don't know how to how to put it in a file. They you don't you don't even know where it is. Right, but that's the same thing. If I die, everything dies with me as well. The one thing that's good about you never there's a lot of things good about you never being pregnant, uh-huh. but a uh, whole lot of things. I can't even <laughs> imagine what that nine months would be like. Okay. It would be complete hell. Yeah. You always said the entire time we've been doing the show together, which is since like 2005 or something, mm-hmm. um, you have said since then, while it would be really good radio if you got pregnant, please don't get pregnant. No, it would be a nightmare because it would be all about you. Yeah, well, yeah. A- everything would be all about you. you yeah, would every ha- segment you- would be like, okay, let's talk about the first trimester. Okay, now let's talk about products that I used to rub on my, t- my tummy. You'd yeah. be six months into it writing a book on motherhood, even though it's your first time. Right, uh, that's true. You would be at the doctor every other day. Yeah. <laughs> you would have to get pregnant by uh, OBGYN. It's the only mm-hmm. way you, you could do it. Mm-hmm. You would have to have somebody there with you at all times yeah and forget about that let's talk about the food cravings i can only imagine what that would be like i mean once a month i got cravings now can you imagine that was all the time it's it's worse when you're right when you have your period it's bad but when you have when you're pregnant it's probably really bad no when you're pregnant you want all kinds of different things that are weird so this lady went on tiktok and she's pregnant and she just went Screw it. I'm going to give in to every one of my needs and wants when I'm pregnant. And I'm going to try all the weird crap that my body is craving now that I'm pregnant. So it's weird combinations and I can attest to it. Yes, it does happen like that. I've heard about women who eat dirt. Yeah, because you crave dirt for some reason. So pickle juice is on this list. Okay, so she's having pickle juice. Literally just taking a jar of pickles and drinking it like it's a margarita. Right. So let's go back for the first one. Okay. Uh, so first one, she's coffee beans. So she grabs coffee beans out of the coffee maker. And just starts chomping on coffee beans? Yeah, because I guess that's what she's craving. She sees have, them and goes, hmm. But they have chocolate covered ones of those. Just go get those. She says, no, not good. She gives it a four out of ten. Too dry. Pickles. Okay. She grabs the pickle juice, open, takes the lid off, and decides to drink it like a milkshake. I can't believe she was craving that. Nine out of ten. Kind of fire, she says. But like nine out of ten? Yeah, that, that's how you know she's pregnant. Pickle juice is never delicious. That's a zero out of zero out of ten. She's still drinking it. Apple? Apple and ketchup. Doesn't even Ew. sound good. But she's going to try it because why? She's pregnant. And she's craving it. Strange. Six out of ten. I don't understand. Now, toast and ice cream, that makes more sense. She's (laughs) she's spreading ice cream on toast. And as weird as that sounds, at least that's like a sweet, you know, I mean, you put jelly on toast. You make cinnamon, sugar cinnamon toast. You know, you've had that before. Mm -hmm. So. So this is kind of like strawberries, but it's ice cream on bread that on doesn't toast. sound good. that doesn't sound good i bet that's going to be delicious yeah see 10 out of 10 she loves it wow i think you're gonna oh now she's gonna try you gotta let the dog try it what does the dog say okay the uh, dog loves it peanut butter and hot sauce ew wow this is so bizarre. Like I have seen cooking shows where they do stuff like this. They put weird stuff together and they're like, Ooh, well, somebody's got to try it. 
Okay, this one she says like a thousand percent disgusting peanut butter and hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all. Yeah. So it looks like she's about to throw it throw that one up. So that's she so she's going on TikTok and trying all kinds of things and seeing which one she likes. That's kind of interesting though, like to give in to your pregnancy cravings. You know, I, I was I would love to do that just give in to my once a month pms cravings although they don't they never get really weird but sometimes they do like every once in a while i will crave something that i would never normally like tuna on potato chips like instead of putting tuna on bread or on crackers i will just like drop it on a potato chip Mm -hmm. and do that um pretzels in ice cream i crumble up a bunch of pretzels and then maybe sometimes also like a little fudge but mostly like pretzels in ice cream i really love that See, I think it's totally different when you're pregnant because then you're eating for two. There's something sucking nutrients off of your body as we speak. So you got no, and, and change, your- you know, it changes your body chemistry. So you, that's why women, yeah. I've, as I said, I've read that women eat dirt. Like they eat some really <laughs> weird stuff. Like they have these really <laughs> bizarre cravings. Yeah. I think being pregnant, very different than during your period. But there, I'm just telling you, like there are women that once a month do crave some wacky stuff. <sighs> Well, pregnancy is the worst. And it always comes down to ice cream. Always. Right. It's always like, well, yeah, I want ice cream. Or I want ice cream on toast. I want ice cream on feet, whatever. Just put ice cream on something. Yeah. The only reason why Dairy Queen exists <laughs> <laughs> is because of pregnant women. That's the only reason why they're there. And I wonder why pregnant women... Um, crave so many weird things because there's a a a foreign body sucking nutrients off of your soul no but they okay so they say that um pregnant women crave dirt and it's actually quite common because it's actually studies about this because dirt provides against toxins and parasites according to research and there's like you got to go back to the cave there's like a something deep 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 down in your dna that is telling you that you know dirt will somehow be the thing that neutralizes any bad juju in your stomach 